What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to block, to permanently block an email address or a domain name for sending emails to your Google Workplace accounts or to your Gmail account, okay? So let's imagine the following scenario that unfortunately it's true for most of us we receive tons of spam emails. Here is the number of spam emails that we have on visualmoto.com, for example. And this is really bad because sometimes this go to your inbox and you have to spend a time, invest a time opening it, only to reveal that this is just a dangerous phishing message or spam. For example, for an account like this. And I do not want, even if the filter works and goes to spam, that sometimes it doesn't work, but even if the filter works, I no longer want that this email be able to contact us, okay? So how to do this? Before anything, please hit the subscribe button and like this video because this information is valuable and you're gonna like it. And we bring new videos every week to tell about internet things, WordPress, SEO, marketing, and a lot of things. So, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends. After this, simply go to your Google Workplace account, open the Gmail, go to your profile picture, and click right here in the Admin Console. So, even if the, e the email is on your inbox or into the filter, into spam automatically, this is bad. We do not want this address or this domain name to contact us. So how to block this? Go to the admin console, okay? And you're gonna load a page like this one, okay? I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for another video tutorial where I will explain how to change the image that appears onto our top right corner right here to our brand logo for example but go to the left side of options into the icons hover over your icons and you're gonna open this tab where you can find the the tools of your admin console okay we're gonna click on apps okay so a p p's and once on a p p's we're gonna find the Google Workplace, okay? Once we open Google Workplace, we're gonna search for Gmail. And this is where the fun begins, okay? We have service status, it's on. We have user settings, hosts, default routing, authentication email, manage quarantine, safety, setup, email user access and here is the options for us spam phishing and malware we're gonna click on it and we're gonna be able to see all the options we have we have the email ally list the enhanced pre-delivery inbound spam and block senders and this is the options for us okay so block senders as you can see right here i'm already created a list i'm already created a list to stop this tons of spam emails and but we're gonna learn how to do this once again first of all we're gonna need to in my case i can see a list right here but on yours you're gonna be able to see this button okay add an, a rule or another rule in my case we're gonna need to type something for example um, the blocked list for spam the blocked list for persons who don't type your title for this okay in my case it's gonna be text and in the case that we want we can create and edit the default rejection nots okay we can type why this email has been rejected by us to the blocked email in the case that you want if not just leave it blank okay 
and here is the be the most important part okay add addresses or domains that you want to automatically reject messages from no lists use it yet use existing list or create or edit a list click right here create or edit a list <laughs> After this, you can choose a previously created list or add a blocked list. And how to block? It's pretty, pretty simple. First of all, we need to type a name for our list, okay? We're gonna type this as out list, okay? And after this, we can type an email or some domain address because imagine that a domain name contacts you from a lot of emails and you no longer want to receive any kind of email of this domain so just type domain dot extension for example domain.com but if you want some specific email for example this one right here that is a hotmail of course we want to receive emails from hotmail so we need to block the address, the entire address. So this is the address. Let me copy this. Click on add button. We can book add addresses or add addresses, okay? To book add, I'm gonna open this and you can type as many addresses as you want. Just remember to separate them with an enter, okay? In my case, I just want to apply one. And here is the address. After this, click on save button. My new out list is now created and I can use an existing list. I can select one of those lists. Here is the new that we have created, out list. The list has been selected. Let me close it. And I can save change. Simple as that. You can have as many lists as you need. You can edit, you can delete in the case that you want. You can disable these lists, okay? It's almost like a pause button and a play button, okay? And the process, it's really, really simple as it. Always remember that there is cases that you need to block a specific email addresses. And there's cases that you can block a domain name. For example, a phishing domain name who has been contacting us for a long time and apply this domain name to this list so I no longer need to receive emails from these addresses, okay? Independently, if they have an email, for example, hello at email.com, hi at email.com, uh, business owner at email.com, all has will be blocked automatically because we did block the domain name. The effect happens immediately so as soon as you save this update or your gmail and you no longer receive new emails from these addresses i don't have one of those addresses to test what kind of message they receive and this design of these messages but as you have noted we can edit how they how they receive the em the mean the content that they receive and it is i hope you guys enjoyed this video Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress teams. We are on wordpress.org with the best free WordPress team on the market, that is the Enzo WordPress team. And we have a plugin that expands the options of your page builders and site design, both for free and the plugin name is Boardless. Just download they on wordpress.org. In addition, I'm gonna leave some links into the description below, okay? And the links go direct to a very useful source, for example, a place where you can purchase a domain name for 99 cents, or a place where you can download design assets for free. Every single week, they update the design assets that you can download for free. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends, family like the hit the like button type a comment because it helps us a lot this content is free and always gonna be but we have some work to do this so 
please hit the subscribe button share with your friends if it brings some value for you it may help lots of people okay and it is i hope you guys enjoyed this and i see you later all the best